Batonga is a quiet fishing village on the northern shores of Brooklyn Bay. It's also the trackhead for the Great North Walk. You can get the ferry from Palm Beach or get a t water taxi from Brooklyn. But once you walk off the jetty, if you turn to the east, walking along the beach, you'll head to the start of the walk, right in the corner. Once we leave the beach, we climb up onto the ridge. And there are some quite nice climbs up onto the top of the ridge. Once we get to the top, there are nice views back over Broken Bay, down in the Cayenne Creek, and round into Batonga. The track meets up with the maintenance track, and shortly after that, we turn right to head down to another nice lookout. And this gives us great views out to the ocean, Baron Joey, Pitwater, West Head. We retrace our steps and cross the maintenance track and head up towards the trig along some steps and some stairs. Being so fair, I always like trig pillars. From here, we'll continue down the steps down past the car park and along the dirt track for over a kilometre and just before it comes out onto Patonga Drive we turn right onto the small walking track. After a few hundred metres this brings us out to the crossing Just to the left here is a rest area. And we follow this track for a few kilometres and after uh, Vandel's camping ground we come to a nice little creek crossing the track. We continue along this track and eventually turn off, heading down towards Patonga Creek. From here, it's quite a steep climb up onto the ridge again. Once we get near the top, we can see the landfill, which is run by Gosford City Council. and we continue to climb. From here, there are quite nice views back across to Brisbane Water and to Wai Wai. While the sky looks nice out to the east, across to the west there's a fair bit of rain around. Hopefully we'll miss most of it. This track eventually comes out at Dillon's track. We turn off across the shortcut to join the tunnel track. After several hundred meters, we'll turn left 
following the signs of the Mount Wonderbine. This trek climbs up until it meets the Mount Wonderbine camping area. Not much here, just a seat and uh, a bit of a fireplace and somewhere to pitch the tent. I think this little spot in amongst the trees is probably the best. We continue along the track for 100 metres or so and then we're going to turn off to take a little detour to go up to the summit. But halfway up there is a little cave which would be good shelter if you had some inclement weather. We eventually arrive at the Trig Pillar and there are great 360 degree views. If we look out to the west we can see our destination, Wonderbine Railway Station, next quarry. Back on the track it descends quickly past the walker's registration and down onto maintenance track. Here we'll turn right and walk for a few hundred meters. And we'll leave this track by turning left. There's a boardwalk taking us over the worst of the wet areas. This walk continues over several rock platforms and eventually comes out to join Tomo's Loop. We follow this track for one and a half kilometers and then turn off under the Karyong Falls track. This is nice and flat for a few hundred meters and we go past a little clearing that's been used as a camping ground. And then the track starts the steep descent down into the valley. There are some handrails being placed here. Eventually we arrive at the falls. We climb over a small hill and back down the other side to cross Mayong Creek. This is a very pretty little creek and on the downstream side there are some nice little cascades leading down to a big pool. From here there's another major climb. We follow this track along several uh, rock platforms and eventually we arrive at the ridge and the intersection with the Mini Mini track. From here it's a two and a half kilometer walk down to Wonderbine Railway Station. On the way down, you get nice views of Mount Wonderbine, this time from the other side. After two kilometers, we arrive at a little clearing, which is classed as a rest area. And from there we descend down to the water level and down to the cute little railway station of Wonderbine. 
here, we simply have to wait for a train to take us home.